in order to function properly or fully about our intelligence, good health also very, very relevant. So, the, so therefore, you see, taking care about our body is very uh, important. Now, in, the, in this planet, uh, since a few thousand years, you see, uh, the people eventually you see, invented you see, the so-called medicine. Uh, you see, to cure some illness or prevent preventive measure. Uh, among them, Ayurvedic, Chinese traditional medicine, and also in the West, you know, or Egypt, Egyptian civilization, and there are you see, different you see, medical system. Then in India, uh, Ayurvedic, of course, eventually, when, after Buddhism, or when a time the Buddhism reached the bed uh, in eighth century, uh, at that time, according to Tibetan medical history, it mentioned in eighth century, uh, under the, uh, the leadership of Tibetan emperor Songzhen Gambo, who also invited Shantarakshita from Nalanda University great philosopher, great sort of logician. So he is really a father of Tibetan Buddhism, like that. So at that time, uh, some kind of uh, semi-international conference about medicine, medical system. That means Ayurvedic medicine, medical system, and the local Tibetan medical system, the Chinese medical system, then the Yunani uh, system, uh, and this is represent all scholars from these different tradition uh, study or some conference. So it seems you see Tibetan up to date so Tibetan medical system, uh, they are uh, basically Ayurvedic system. In the meantime, some Chinese system also there, the Yunani system also I think there, including Tibetan our own uh, what's the uh, Tibetan medical system. High in the Himalayas is the ancient kingdom of Ladakh. A magical land, it is clad in the rainbow of prayer flags that sit high on the mountain passes. Enchanting monasteries cling to the edge of cliff tops, looking out onto the vast mountain peaks and the piercing blue sky. Mahayan Buddhism is the predominant religion practiced here under the spiritual leadership of His Holiness the Dalai Lama. The art and architecture, language, music and medicine all reflect this heritage. The main tradition of healing is Sova Rigpa, locally known as Amchi. Practitioners of this tradition who have been providing health care to the people for centuries are known as Amchi. Amchi is derived from the Mongolian word Amje, meaning superior of all. In fact, their service is considered so invaluable that Amchis don't charge a fee for either the consultation they provide or the medicine they prescribe. Their knowledge of human physiology, mental preoccupation and the medicinal properties of everything available in their surroundings is supreme. Indeed, in these isolated highlands of the Himalayas, Amchis provide succor to the people 
alleviating their suffering. Sova Rigpa today is practiced extensively across the trans Himalayan regions of India. Stretching from Arunachal Pradesh, Darjeeling and Sikkim in the east to Himachal Pradesh and Ladakh in the west. It has been the traditional method of public health in these parts of India for over a millennium now. In a culture that is deeply imbued in rituals and practices, Amchi healers as well as the Chodpas and the Lamos give a holistic choice in healing to the people. The Lamos source their origin to the shamanic practices of the ancient Bon faith that was prevalent in this region during pre-Buddhist days. This practice still continues in some villages. Lamos suggest ceremonies to ward off evil spirits and suck out poisonous material from the body. Chodpas and Lamos perform magic rituals for treatment, but both refer patients to the Amchi in case the patient needs proper medical attention. Sova Rigpa, therefore, is considered a holistic public health method that takes care of overall well-being. The tradition of Amchi is passed from one generation to the next and the first child, be it a boy or a girl, takes this responsibility. हमारे गांव का नाम ही मल्ला है ना इसीलिए करना पड़ता है गांव में भी पहले जमाने में कोई डॉक्टर डॉक्टर ऐसे नहीं होते आमची ही होते फिर इसलिए मुझे करने की शौक भी था कि दवाई करेगा तो अपने गांव में बैठ के दवाई करेगा तो अच्छा भी रहेगा सोच के Besides being the village doctor an amchi is also a friend and guide Installation of a new Amchi is a matter of celebration in the village. They have to take their passing out examination orally in front of the whole village where they are examined by a panel of respected senior Amchis and elders from surrounding villages. This, in a way, becomes an opportunity for the prospective patients to know their healers. Presence of the Amchi is considered auspicious for any occasion, right from sowing to the birth of a child. Their additional role as onpos makes them similar to lamas in the spiritual realm and village life. They, along with the lamas, are invited to houses to perform prayers for the general well-being of the household and its members. The presiding deity of Sova Rigpa is Sangas Mangla, Bheshajya Guru, the medicine Buddha. Sitting in a contemplative mode, he demonstrates the power of healing. In his left lap, he holds the bowl that contains medicinal herbs. His right hand displays a twig of the Myrobalan plant, the symbol of the power of all healing. The Buddha is considered to be the first healer who outlined this medical care system for the people who suffer due to ignorance. This supreme knowledge became a discipline of study in the ancient Buddhist university of Nalanda. 
the Indian medicinal tradition of Ayurveda traveled along with Buddhism from India to Tibet by the 8th century during the time of Guru Padmasambhav. I'm practicing Tibetan medicine for the last about 35 years. Tibetan medicine, uh, or you can say Bhagisawaripa, is a traditional medicine of Tibet and also on the Himalayan regions. The diagnostic methods as well as the treatments is very traditional and, and it has a similarity with Indian Ayurveda because we talk about the five elements and Indian Ayurveda also, you know, like except the Panch Mahabhuta and also in the Tibetan medicine. And the basic specialty of the Tibetan medicine is it is directly connected with uh, Buddhism. And we say that the basic cause of the suffering is mind. Especially we talk of the ignorance. And ignorance is the remote cause from which you can get three mental poisons. That is the, you can say, uh, desire attachment, hatred, anger, and the close-mindedness. And from these three, you know, like mental poisons, then you can get, you know, like in Ayurveda, they talk about the three dosha. And Tibetan medicine, we talk about nyepasum, means like vata, pitta, kapha. And we say lung, tiba, begin. And lung is any movement that we can get in our body, mind, and speech is defined as lung. And the heat, which is responsible of, you know, like, for the complexion, for the digestion, and all those things, because that particular heat is called chipa or pitta in Ayurveda. And the fluid or the watery part or the cooling agent that we can find in the body is called bacon in Tibetan. In Ayurveda, they talk about kapha. Okay, that's for, you can say, three dosha in Ayurveda and the Tibetan medicine nyebasums are very, very important to study. And unless we have the basic understanding of the characteristic of these three dosha or the nyeba, it is impossible to understand the basic cause of the disease. The entire teachings of Sovarikva are contained in the books of four tantras, the Gyushi. It was compiled by the famous scholar Sage Gyamso in the early 17th century under the guidance of the fifth Dalai Lama. In Sanskrit, the Gyushi is called Amrit Hridai Anga Ashta Gohya Upadesha Tantra. It is written in question-answer form between a Rishi master and his disciple, who are emanation of the medicine Buddha. The principle of diagnosis in Sova Rigpa is multi-pronged to understand the body and mind of the patient. This is best understood by the famous Blue Beryl Treaty by Sage Gyamso. This set of 79 paintings document the fundamental concept of diagnostics and medication in a lucid visual manner. The painting of the root of physiology and pathology shows the correlation between health and disease. The first branch shows the body in harmony and the second one represents disharmony. These three twigs show the three different humors that are ever present in the human body. They are called Lung, Tipa and Bacon. In English, they can be loosely explained as wind, bile and phlegm respectively. In this twig, the seven leaves represent each of the body constituents such as blood, bone, marrow, muscles etc. The third twig represents three excretions such as urination, defecation and perspiration. When the balance of these gets disturbed, then the body gets diseased. The next branch represents the causes, the conditions and the locations. And those two red flowers symbolize good health and long life. From these flowers emerge the spiritual and material well-being that lead to eternal bliss. This leads to liberation of the physical body and its consciousness to a body of bright light. Yeah. 
the darkness will all be cleared away and the room will be filled with light. People who learn to follow the noble path are in possession of the light of wisdom that will clear the darkness of ignorance. In whole human range, you see, there are uh, uh, people who, through generations, you see, taking, uh, say, the practicing say, Tibetan or Saudi medicine. Uh, so sometimes, you see, people a uh, little bit sort of neglect about this, this sort of a, a practice. I think that now, the, for example, as I mentioned earlier, in New Delhi, the, all the allopathic facilities there, but there are cases, Tibetan medicine, some sort of help. So therefore, in this area, you see, people now should realize the potential of Sauripa's medicine, and therefore, people in this area from younger generation, I hope more people, you see, taking interest and carry study. Uh, this is not only just a preservation of this ancient useful tradition, but also you see, it can be very, very useful to the local people. Tibetan medicine, compare these uh, allopathic medicine, a bit cheaper. <laughs> and then secondly, uh, no side effect. Uh, and then, you see, you can earn something. So, uh, I'm urging the people in this area, uh, particularly younger generation or young student, please pay more attention about study of this Sauripas tradition. The Buddhist view holds that everything within the universe is in a constant state of flux, characterized by impermanence. Ego, attachment and desire lead to restricting our acceptance of such inherent dynamism of life. Suffering erupts because of ignorance. This manifests at the spiritual, mental and physical levels. Human efforts should be directed towards finding the right balance and living in harmony within and around. This leads to the upliftment of the soul and consciousness and the ultimate liberation of the soul, the Nirvana. The Gyushi, the fourth Tantra medicinal text of Sova Rigpa, revolves around this philosophy. Anamchi has to see the world in this perspective. This is my father. astrology उनका वो देखना होता है होरोस्कोप वगैरह देखना होता है फिर दुनियादारी जो कुछ भी होगा कैलकुलेशन वो एस्ट्रोलॉजी के हिसाब से देख के ही कुछ करना होगा शुरू करते वक्त तो उस लिए से तो घर में तो तकरीबन जिंदगी भर घर में ज्यादा देर तक रहता नहीं है हर इस वक्त भी इतना उम्र होने के बाद भी घर में रहने का फुर्सत नहीं इनको तो बूढ़ा हो गया जी लता है नहीं तो नहीं चल सकता है गुटना में मैं मेरा बाप के बाप से सिखाया है बाप तो छोटे में गुजर गया फिर बाप के बाप भी वो बुरा होता है ना उनसे हम को सब अंची जो है वो निमो में पांच साल बैठा निमो में वो निमो का अंची था ना बुरा अभी है नहीं गुजर सकता फिर फिर वो पार में बैठना पड़ता है पूजा करने के लिए पूजा भी करता है ना मैंने दूसरा एक आदमी नहीं आना सकता है वो एक आदमी तो 
पहले से डरता है ना वही बात के आदमी नहीं आ सकता है Here in the Changthang plateau of Ladakh people have a nomadic lifestyle and live in tents reaching the nearest village to meet an amchi can take days the relationship is built on trust in sovarigpa and faith in the amchi it tries to cure the root cause rather than treating the superficial suppression of the disease Thus, people prefer sovarigpa over any other kind of treatment. In this fragile social and geographical sphere, this livelihood is becoming increasingly difficult to sustain in a fast-changing rural economy. The Sova Rigpa medicine system has been recently given approval by the union cabinet. recognizing it in the country under the department of ayush ministry of health and family welfare it takes a multi-pronged approach for the revitalization of sovarigpa for preservation and promotion of traditional knowledge uh, we had collaboration with ladakh amchi sabha so this sabha was not it uh, organized though it was a very old uh, association so i try my best to organize this system and brought all the amchi of ladakh uh, and as well as the astrologer together on one platform and we discuss what should we do for preservation and promotion of our tradition many skilled amchi are elderly and their knowledge and a lifetime of experience represents the essence of the sova rigba text Regular meeting with the Amchi Sabha is an opportunity to understand the actual practice of Sova Rigpa. The Amchis are asked to note down unique cases and carry them back so that they can be documented for posterity. These come in handy as referrals for young Amchis in case they need guidance in their practice. Earlier I had my traditional education from my uh, father uh, who is also practicing Amchi. we have decided in the family that uh, if you want to practice system um, this medicine in modern age you have to have systematic education system the central institute of buddhist studies lay it is a center of learning run by the ministry of culture government of india cibs offers a 5 year degree course in sovarigpa this attracts students from all over ladakh as well as the other states in the trans himalayan range central institute of buddhist study established in 1959 we give education in this institute are called panch mahavidya the great five branch of buddhist study i think which was the celebrity of the ancient nalanda chikitsa vidya is of course one of the major subject the curriculum at this school is run in affiliation with mensi khan the tibetan medical and astro institute dharamsala in himachal pradesh mensi khan has created a unique curriculum on sova rigpa education with the blessings of his holiness the dalai lama this is the 16th batch of the medicine and 8th batch of the astrologer doctors who are training in this is actually trained for 5 years in a very um, uh, strict uh, for learning the only the technician of tibetan way of diagnosing through the urine blood and pulse readings so on so the institution is now going much more bigger all literature of sova rigpa is written in tibetan language the intricacies of this language are taught to the students to get a better revelation of gyushi the empirical literature on sova rigpa gyushi is the main textbook name of the sova rigpa all the sova rigpa textbooks are in tibetan one is that another one is that those who are professor here teaching 
Ali them all are Tibetans. They only speak Tibetan language and textbook is also only Tibetan. We have here one uh, translation uh, section here in the institute already. Those who are doing responsibility about translating the textbook. So the main textbook we have translated already two of the first tantra and second tantra. And the third tantra will be translated in this year or it may be on uh, next year. They are also taught astronomy as the cycle of seasons and the stellar positions are integral to prescription for a disease. They are taught the influence of planetary motion on human beings. They learn to create medical diaries of patients according to their date and place of birth. This is important in Sovarikpa treatment as each is considered unique in this universe in reference to stellar position, geography and season. The root of diagnosis elucidates the three stems, visual observation, palpation and inquiry. Visual observation is the branch that looks into external physical symptoms such as the color and texture of eye, tongue and urine. Demonstration of diagnosis is conducted to get practical experience. Observation of urine is important as it is said to be the mirror of internal functioning of the human body. Its color, viscosity, frothiness and turbidity can convey accurate signs of the imbalance of three basic humors. Palpation deals with the checking of pulse in the wrist as it carries the resonance of internal parts of body. Pulse is checked with three fingers in both the hands. Each finger catches the rhythm of different internal organs such as heart, liver, kidney, lungs, spleen, etc. Inquiry is the third area of diagnosis. Amchi closely watches the patient, looks at his behavior and makes observation. Based on these observations, an Amchi prescribes medicine. The botanical name of this plant in Tibetan medicine is Adatoda Vasika. The taste of this plant is bitter, and the Students are made to go through rigorous tests of identifying metals, plants and herbs. The students also learn to make the right mixture of identified plants, herbs and minerals as prescribed. This skill will come in handy for them when they go to remote villages where they have to prepare medicine on their own. The mixture is pulverized and made into pills, which are given according to diagnosis. In extreme cases, Sova Rigpa prescribes thermal surgical intervention in the form of moxibustion. Moxibustion involves applying heat in special points on the human body which are connected to an internal organ. Heat is applied through rods and needles of specific metal, such as a gold, copper, brass, etc., or through heated vacuum cups. There is not a single alphabet which doesn't carry the value of mantra. There is not a single root which is not a medicine. There is not a single person in the world who is useless. What is rare in this world is a coordinator to utilize them appropriately. In the Himalayan range, uh, from Ladakh up to Arunachal, these uh, Traditionally, the certain very rare plant is found only in these high altitude area. Uh, so the local people, I think, should know this thing and should protect this area. And if possible, some cultivation and multiply. That can be very useful. Local people, 
can earn something. <laughs> and the, those the people who are sort of what's the, who, who making Tibetan medicine, they are sort of what's the ingredients. Uh, then it's more available. It's very, very helpful, mutual benefit. Sova Rigpa is a philosophy because it follows the key Buddhist principles like self-sacrifice, karma and ethics. It can be considered as an art because the diagnostic techniques and composition of medicine are based on the creativity, immensity, delicacy and compassion of the Amchi. I joined over here to, uh, to visit my family lineage, I mean the doctor family lineage. If there will not be any obstacle towards me to become a, a qualified Tibetan doctor, I, uh, I'm proud to say that I will be the 11th doctor of my family lineage of doctor. तो वहां पे तो साइंस ही लेते हैं मेरा तो फिर कॉमर्स था प्लस टू में फिर फिर बोला मैं आजी ने लद्दाख में जाओ वहां पे 5 साल का अपना कोर्स कर किया फिर नौकरी के भी बहुत चांसेस है इसके लिए फिर हम लोग अपने गांव में भी देख सकते हैं माय नेम इज टेजिन सोगे एंड आई एम फ्रॉम चंगगा विलेज ले सिटी से चंगगा का बहुत दूर है बट देयर इज सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम इन माय विलेज बिकॉज़ द ऑल्डर पीपल लोग तो अमजी का मेडिसिन बहुत यूज करते हैं इसलिए हमारे विलेज में अमजी बहुत कम है that's the reason I want to become an Amchi. So if I become an Amchi, then I will solve this problem. I want to become an Amchi because uh, it's our lineage to carry on the system of traditional medicine that is Amchi. And my grandfather used to be Amchi in Tibet. I have a hope since my childhood that one day I will become a great Amchi and serve old peoples or sick people. Today, a practice of public health that dates back to over a millennium of continuous practice is being taken up by the youth with excitement and fervor. And my mother inspired me to learn Tibetan medicine, so I decided to learn Tibetan medicine in Dharamsala. I completed in the 2006, and now I am very happy. There is a lot of enthusiasm, you know, among the younger generation. Many of these Amchis uh, are very young people and, uh, and people are also recognizing the importance of this uh, system. Recently, this uh, system is recognized in Ayush under uh, NRHM and uh, because of that we are able to uh, create some post uh, in the district for local Amchis and they are now recruited uh, and uh, they are working uh, full time in uh, all parts of Ladakh. I am from Markawele, which is very far from here and it was my dream to become an Amchi to help people through the uh, medicine. Since 2004 I am working in this uh, association and we are wa going remote area to help uh, Peoples. This month, I'm recruited in uh, an NRHM to appointed in Chushul, which is very far China border. I have appointed there. I am a jigger and I am a clinic in Chushul. I am a appointment in Chushul. They are venturing out to the most remote regions with skills to provide medical care to those in need. This will no doubt benefit the poorest of the poor in far-flung areas who will otherwise never ever receive proper health care. When I ask the Amchis what is their problem in practicing Amchi system of medicine in rural areas, they have uh, come up with uh, two, three major problems. Number one was uh, medicine was a big problem for that. The next area of concern for the preservation of Sova Rigpa today is its growing popularity. There is a growing demand for Amchi medicine. 
the pharmacy at Mensi Kang is working towards the streamlining of the production of Amchi medicine. Along with improving the knowledge base, materials are being brought and kept in cold storage to improve shelf life. They are hand sorted to maintain quality in raw materials. They are then checked for the prescribed six basic tastes. The three post-digestive tastes from which the composition, properties and actions of medicine is inferred. Then it goes through various stages under supervision of arm cheese to retain potency and effectiveness. Pills are made and sorted out in prescribed weight and size and packaged in modern blister packs for better distribution. And we have also helped the local Ladakh Amchi Sabha to establish a centralized manufacturing unit. Uh, in that unit, uh, they produce around 50, 60 type of medicines. This unit produces medicine in a clean, dry, hygienic condition and distributes to Amchis coming from far-flung areas. It also gives an opportunity to introduce new kinds of medicine based on suggestions made by the Sabha in its prior meetings. In its efforts towards the overall preservation of Sova Rigpa, the government is working towards the preservation of herbs and plants that are the primary raw materials for Amchi medicine. It is promoting the creation of herbal gardens with practicing Amchis in this region. वहाँ जो डोन में जो मेडिसिन उगता है एनुला कूट पुष्कर मूल यहाँ जो लेमिन नहीं उगता है वो सारे अभी यहाँ मैंने कल्टीवेशन किया यहाँ से कूट और पुष्कर मूल अंबर से ले जाता है वहाँ से एक्सचेंज करके हरा बेड़ा अमला और इलाची वगैरह वहाँ से लाता है और यहाँ जो अमची काफ़ी है लेमे बहुत अमची दो तीन सौ अमची है तो यहाँ बहुत जरूरी है मेडिसिन यू हैव टू हैव द क्वालिटी रॉ मटेरियल सो वी आर कमिंग अप विद बिग हर्बल गार्डन इट इज ऑन एलेवन हेक्टर्स ऑफ लैंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड डेवलपिंग द लैंड एंड वी हैव आल्सो स्टार्टेड कल्टिवेशन ऑन सम पोर्शन ऑफ द लैंड एंड विद इन फाइव सिक्स ईयर्स वी होप दैट देयर विल बी वन फुल्ली फंक्शनल इट इज कॉल्ड मॉडल हर्बल गार्डन This garden on the banks of the Indus River will work as a nursery for the entire region of Ladakh. It will grow delicate and rare herbs and plants from the entire Trans Himalayan region. Amchis who are interested in creating their own herbal garden can take quality seeds and roots from here. There is an ever growing demand around the world today for herbs grown in this region. as they acquire a heightened potency growing as they do in extreme climatic conditions this would reduce the dependence of the amchi on markets and add to their revenue this in turn will preserve the biodiversity and the genetic pool of rare plants that grow in this fragile region the major problem was uh, the infrastructure we didn't have much infrastructure for the office so now we are coming up with uh, two building big building one is uh, research uh, come administrative block and one is uh, a 10 bed hospital plus therapy center as well as we also we will introduce also meditation there or we will also try to introduce yoga there so both the building uh, buildings are coming up very nicely and we followed the traditional architecture Uh, while constructing these buildings now very soon within 2 3 months both the buildings will be completed the national research institute of sova rigpa is working towards researching and cataloging of ancient manuscripts from various available resources and to validate them scientifically this cataloging is being done digitally so as to archive them in computers this will be of immense use in the future for new students and practicing amchis who will have quick and ready referencing during study and practice sova rigpa as a tradition is completely dependent upon the study of texts that contain its philosophy diagnosis and plant identification the museum of mensi kang at dharamsala is working towards preserving 
the materia medica of Sova Rigpa for dissemination to former learners as well as for the public. Here, reproduction paintings of the Blue Beryl Treaty that elaborates methods for diagnosis and prescription are being preserved. The museum also houses ancient tools and equipment that were earlier used for surgeries and other physical interventions. Sova Rigpa, or the practice of Amchi medicine, is being revived in the Trans Himalayan region of India. As an initiative to preserve this effective practice, the Department of Ayush, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, has recognized Amchi medicine as an alternative method of practice in public health. Keeping in mind the faith people have in the Amchi, the state governments have created Amchi clinics in government hospitals. The Sova Rigpa method of treatment is provided alongside modern medicine in hospitals in Trans Himalayan region of India. Here, people come from distant places and get access to multiple methods of treatment. This has led to the creation of new jobs for newly qualified Amchis. Here, youth from traditional Amchi families who have undertaken the formal course in Sova Rigpa are being absorbed. They are preserving and continuing this tradition which has been carried on by their fathers and forefathers. The Buddhist philosophy of compassion, which has nurtured the people in this region for so long, finds a new lease as it is carried forward to a new era. Your suffering is my suffering and your happiness is my happiness. The spirit of the Buddha is that of great loving kindness and compassion. The great loving kindness is the spirit to save all people by any and by all means. The great compassion is the spirit that prompts it to be ill with the illness of people, to suffer with their sufferings. So I very much appreciate this is very, very necessary and helpful. It's actually, this is not a question of preservation of one sort of culture, one, of the, one, one community or one nation, but this is uh, long run serving to humanity. The allopathic medicine and this ancient medicine combined, combinedly, I think can be immense benefit to humanity.